Okay, conduct of business. Item 10B, we're going to receive a report and provide direction regarding projects proposed by the San Bruno Community Foundation. And before we do that, I, I just want to say, uh, say a couple of things. Th this is kind of an extraordinary evening. After a horrible, ter uh, horrific uh, explosion in September 9, 2010, um, a couple of things came out of that. $50 million to rebuild the neighborhood and uh, $70 million to uh, contribute to the, the entire community of San Bruno. The neighborhood is being rebuilt. Uh, we're going to have a little meeting with them tomorrow night and talk to them about the details of that. That's been ongoing. But the Community Foundation has been set up as a nonprofit with what I consider an extraordinary board that's worked very, very hard to reach out to the community to find out what they wanted um, as a result of, of this. Something good had to come out of this horrific uh, experience that we all, we all suffered through. So here we are tonight when uh, the board is, is proposed after uh, lengthy hearings with the public and uh, among themselves um, to give back the first of, uh, of the monies back into the community. So they have some projects and we're gonna hear about that uh, this evening. So Connie or Leslie. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, and thank you for this opportunity to come before the City Council tonight on behalf of the San Bruno Community Foundation. My name is Leslie Hadamia, and I am the Executive Director of the Foundation. Next Tuesday marks my one-year anniversary at the Foundation, and I'm thrilled with how far we have come in the past 12 months, transitioning into a fully functioning nonprofit, surveying the community with last spring's community listening campaign, developing our program strategy framework, identifying our first set of projects, which we will discuss tonight, as well as identifying our strategic grant making priorities. The board has decided to earmark $15 million of the 70 million as a quasi endowment with a long-term investment strategy and plans to use the bulk of the restitution funds to address our strategic priorities, including several large capital projects to improve the city's community facilities. We have issued a request for proposals for investment management services and hope to select an investment firm so that we can take possession of the restitution funds in the next couple of months. Tonight, I am very excited to come before you regarding the four near-term project proposals the Foundation presented to you by letter earlier this month. These projects are among the Foundation's first program initiatives and we are eager to see them implemented in 2016 so that the community can begin to experience benefits from the restitution funds. As I first mentioned to you in November, four of our first initiatives involve city facilities or properties or programs, and the Foundation Board is looking forward to developing a strong partnership with the city to see them to fruition. We presented them in detail in our letter, but let me summarize them briefly for you tonight. The first project is a community facilities vision plan. I was here in, in November and presented this to you then. There was concern from the, the City Council about the scope of a facilities master plan. The uh, Foundation Board considered that as well as input we received from the public. And what we are proposing now is a much more focused plan than what was initially envisioned and we've renamed it the Community Facilities Vision Plan. The planning process would focus on the Foundation's capital project strategic priorities primarily the park and recreation facilities of library community center, the recreation center, a year round pool, athletic fields and playgrounds, and would include a significant community engagement component to solicit input from the, from the community for the vision for these facilities. We believe this project is critically important to the city, the foundation and the community. It would provide meaningful guidance to the city in charting a course for its community's facility needs. For the foundation, it would provide necessary information as we decide how to deploy our strategic grant making funds. And it would provide a useful blueprint for approaching other funders for the capital projects in order to leverage the restitution funds. As we all know, 70 million is a lot of money, but when we're building buildings, it's not necessarily a lot of money and we will need partnerships to make all of these projects happen. We are proposing a grant of $300,000 for this project. 
As part of it, we strongly urge the city to conduct a pre-planning process utilizing Anderson Brulé Architects, the firm that is already familiar with many of these facilities, having provided the foundation with the cost modeling tool this past summer to develop the scope of work and work plan for the vision plan. The second project is a community day sponsorship. During the community listening campaign, we consistently heard San Bruno residents express a strong desire for more community events and activities that would create a stronger, more engaged sense of community throughout San Bruno. In particular, we heard support for making Community Day into an annual event. We are proposing a grant of $30,000 to the city to underwrite the cost of holding Community Day in 2016. We support the idea of moving the event to late or spring, early summer, possibly in conjunction with the annual Posey Parade. We also understand that we are only several months away from early June when the Posey Parade is typically held. And if the city decided to push out the next community day until 2017 to allow for ample preparation time, we would offer a $20,000 grant for the event. Our third project proposal is for pedestrian safety efforts. A prevalent theme we heard during the community listening campaign particularly given the source of the restitution funds, was a concern about community safety. Consistent with this theme, the foundation would like to support efforts to improve pedestrian safety in the Bay Hill and downtown areas. As such, we are proposing a grant of $170,000 to the city for lighted crosswalks or other visible pedestrian safety measures. We understand that some of the Bay Hill corporations are also interested in improving pedestrian safety in that area and we see this as a wonderful opportunity to develop a meaningful private-public partnership. And the fourth project we bring to you today is the development of a new park at 324 Florida Avenue. Although most community facility projects would benefit from the community facility vision plan discussed earlier, the foundation would like to support a small capital project that can be executed in 2016 and clearly demonstrate the benefits that the restitution funds can have in improving San Bruno's community facilities. In this light, we are eager to partner with the city to transform 324 Florida Avenue into a neighborhood park in an area of town that currently lacks park and playground space. We propose a grant of $200,000 to the city to develop this park on the east side of town. Before I close, let me mention two other initiatives that the foundation expects to launch this year. In just a few weeks, we anticipate launching the Crestmore Neighborhood Memorial Scholarship, which will support San Bruno students in obtaining a college degree. The Foundation Board will be considering the program proposal next Wednesday at its regularly scheduled meeting, and we will begin promoting the program soon after so that the first round of scholarship awards, totaling $100,000, are distributed by the end of this school year. Later in 2016, we plan to launch a community grants program that will enable local community groups to apply for foundation funds consistent with the foundation's established focus areas. The 2016 budget for the program will be $200,000. In total, the scholarship program, community grants program, and the four projects before the council tonight, the foundation hopes to utilize $1 million of the, rest $1 million of the restitution funds in 2016 to benefit the community. Thank you for the opportunity to present the foundation's proposal. We look forward to hearing the council's response to those proposals, and I'm happy to answer any questions you may have. Thank you. Connie? Uh, Mr. Mayor, members of the council, um, you've had a good summary of the foundation's proposal, and I wanted to provide staff's recommendation. Um, you have had the letter from the foundation now for some time and, and the foundation is anxious to move forward as the executive director has um, clearly indicated. Um, as such, staff uh, recommends the following. Um, and that is, given that this is uh, by its nature uh, not only uh, a unique and unprecedented uh, relationship and opportunity that the city has working together with the foundation, um, it is a, by definition a long-term uh, relationship and partner, partnership. Um, as such, staff is recommending that the City Council confirm a, uh, the establishment of a subcommittee to be appointed by the Mayor 
to work together with staff and with the foundation on a going forward basis to precise some of these projects and deal th with the uh, numbers of inevitable uh, topics and details that will be necessary to the successful implementation of the projects that the foundation has proposed. Um, secondly, in uh, review of the project proposals that the foundation has made, all of which are very exciting for the for the community and its future, um, staff recommends that there are two projects that would really um, we would really urge your uh, definitive consideration about tonight and your specific direction as to moving forward. Um, as regards the uh, whole of the project proposals, um, staff recommends that the subcommittee and staff be tasked with developing a more uh, detailed response to each of the proposals that would incorporate uh, a, a thoughtful consideration of any and all issues regards implementation that will be necessary to consider as we move forward, uh, particularly given the timeline that the foundation has identified for projects to be completed within this uh, the current calendar year. With regard to the two projects that uh, staff is asking your very specific uh, consideration and direction tonight, uh, the first is the Community Day in the Park initiative for 2016. Uh, staff recommends that the uh, concept of a late spring, early summer potential combination with uh, Posey Parade and established community event um, is a workable scenario, but it is one that uh, even yet has a fairly short timeline for delivery. And uh, as such, staff believes it's important to hear from you soon, um, if not tonight, um, very soon hereafter, about uh, the City Council's direction and intent in moving forward with that project. Um, that would, we believe that at this point we have enough time to successfully plan and implement an event that the community will be proud of, um, in, including uh, publicizing that and working closely uh, and uh, cooperatively with the Lions Club with respect to potential uh, combination with Posey Parade Day. Um, but again, we need to move forward with that fairly quickly. Um, the second item that staff is recommending your direction tonight, your specific direction tonight, is as the executive director indicated, uh, the pre-planning portion of the community facilities master planning process. Um, as the executive director indicated, that pre-planning effort will uh, provide some useful information uh, to meet the council's objectives that were articulated uh, when the foundation was here talking with you about these four proposals last November. Um, and specifically, the council's interests were expediency, a, 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 a reasonably expeditious process uh, for the preparation of the master plan, and one that focused on uh, specific projects that may have a nearer term timeline for delivery or consideration for delivery. Um, and with that in mind, the community facilities pre-planning process provides an opportunity with a relatively small investment to scope um, and focus and identify the um, issues and opportunities that the master plan process has available to it. Um, staff recommends your early consideration and direction to move forward with at least the pre-planning process and uh, recommends that staff would be prepared to move forward in coordination with the subcommittee and with the foundation um, essentially immediately. I believe ABA is ready to go, the foundation certainly is ready to go, and um, we think that's an achievable and uh, desirable first step in consideration of the overall facilities master planning process. So with that, um, again, staff is seeking your direction regarding uh, the establishment of a subcommittee and those specific two projects um, with the intent that we would 
work with the subcommittee to provide a more detailed response to each of the uh, projects that have been outlined by the foundation, and we look forward to moving forward um, as soon as possible. All Thank right. you. Thank you. First of all, the easy part uh, regarding the uh, subcommittee, I'll point myself and uh, uh, Council Member O'Connell to that committee. Uh, that's done, and then I'd like to see if the uh, Council is any, pardon? With facilities? Uh, no, to, to work with the foundation on, on their uh, proposals going forward. Oh, okay. So, um, and then I'd like to see if the Council has any questions for either the city manager or, or Leslie, the executive director. Through the chair. Rico. Uh, just on the, for city staff, uh, obviously when we're talking about a park <clears throat> on Florida, obviously we need, we know we need to think about ongoing costs. Um, and I, and I want to make sure we have that solid. Uh, we want to make sure we're taking care of what we have, even though if we want to install something, which I love the idea of working with a partnership um, that you uh, proposed in the staff report. <clears throat> from the foundation. Uh, but I also want to really know what those costs are, because I don't believe we've taken over the uh, Caltrain station either as far as maintenance are concerned by city staff. And I just want to make sure we have all our bases covered and we're able to, on an ongoing basis, uh, when we have something new, let, let's, let's keep it to the expectations uh, that the community deserve. On the uh, community facilities vision plan, which I love the, that word, because I think it says it all, and that's what I heard in the campaign, but I keep hearing the word master plan. So I'd like to get clarification from staff, uh, count, uh, city manager, is this a master plan where it includes all facilities or is it sp specifically toward the community facilities that were brought up in the listing campaign? So again, um, I, it's, it's a, a wording difference that may not uh, be as significant as, as you're suggesting. I'm sorry for using a different word uh, than the executive director did. Um, the, Pre-planning process is intended to provide a more definitive scope and content of the uh, ultimate vision plan, and we would look forward to uh, our recommendation is that we we see we're seeking your direction tonight to move forward with the pre-planning process, and we will come back to you through the subcommittee's work with uh, and back to the foundation with a more definitive concept about what should be included in the uh, comprehensive vision plan. Thank you. And then finally on the uh, community day, um, June is, we're about in February, uh, June is here, it's a short time. So um, I always believe in getting it right, not making it quick to hopefully get it right. So um, the subcommittee obviously has been appointed so they can look at that. I know my understanding is, thanks to uh, city manager, it's about 2015 was about $36,000 for community day, which paid for staff and all expenses that were incurred that day or, and for the setup and takedown. So y your, propo your proposal, I believe if it were in this year's up to 30,000, which is almost entirely paying for the entire thing, uh, and then going forward would be 20. So um, I also know, and Lions are, are good folks and, and I appreciate all that you do, but I know that it also is talking about tradition and the Lions, it's been their posy parade. Um, and, and, I, and I learned myself two years ago that even if you wanna move the baseball game on Lara Field to another day or two hours later, there's some concerns that come up. So I just wanna make sure we're giving adequate time to have a, a, a collaborative relationship that's gonna to lead to success uh, if we do it in, in this year. Yeah, so let me respond um, specifically. So Stop staff's it. recommendation at this point, and I probably should have said this earlier, is that delivery of the event would be within the $30,000 uh, uh, amount that the foundation is proposing for an event in, this, in the 2016 year. Um, you're correct that in the two prior years, expenditures have been uh, more than that. And staff believes that with some reorganization, particularly of the uh, costs for the uh, carnival rides and potentially for the food trucks, that we, we can uh, confidently 
um, recommend to you that $30,000 is enough because as the council knows, there is nothing uh, budgeted or programmed in the, our current operating plan in our budget for community day. And we're not asking you at this point for uh, an additional allocation in order to deliver that event this year under the, um, the, the parameters that the foundation has outlined. Um, with respect to um, certainly the uh, coordination and cooperation with a long-standing um, community event that's delivered by others and with a, a great deal of historic and tradition associated with it, um, I can tell you that the that staff has had a preliminary conversation with the individuals tasked with the delivery of the Posey Parade uh, through the Lions Club. And that signal is initially positive that uh, the idea has merit and uh, can be explored further. We would certainly want to do that very quickly and to alert you if it looks like um, for whatever reason it's not going to work, but we would like your direction tonight to proceed and to explore that and if successful to um, move forward with delivery. Okay. okay. I'd like to add as a resident lion that uh, I made it very clear, I made it very clear to the club that with this proposal, that if we partner with the foundation and the community, is that we we make it a community event, which means the other service clubs like the Rotary Club and also the schools, you know, get involved. So, uh, just like uh, the success of the last community days, uh, it's. It's an addition. Uh, the, the Posey Parade becomes an addition to Community Day. Okay. Anyone else have uh, questions or comments for either Leslie or Connie? It's Marty? Just a general comment that uh, as an alternate to the uh, um, being on that subcommittee, I just wanted to express that I was uh, really interested in that, in that uh, subcommittee position. else, Irene? I just want to say I think staff has to speak to making this successful. I, I understand staff has learned a lot of lessons from the last two community days, and I think that they can pull this together. I would like to give direction to go forward with the community day coupled with the Posey Parade. Um, I've been to 60 Posey Parades, <laughs> something like that, uh, and They've evolved over time. They used to be very different from what they are now. Now it seems to be mostly sports, uh, baseball groups that walk down the middle of the street and then they play games, play baseball games or they do whatever. So I think if we could combine this with other people's interests on a community day, we'll get more participation and maybe grow it bigger and get back some of its old glory. So I, I would like to, I don't if you need a motion on that or make a recommendation leaving it to the subcommittee. Well, let, let's, uh, why don't we do this? They're looking for direction this evening on the uh, community day in the park, number one. Are we all in agreement that we should proceed as uh, soon as possible with the community day in the park? Yes. Y yes. I'm, I just like a clarification. I, I was, I guess I was misunderstanding the request from the city manager as far as subcommittees. I thought it was my understanding. The way I looked at it was that we'd have separate subcommittees for possibly these first two projects, not necessarily a subcommittee that is working with the foundation and the city. My concern is that we've got a subcommittee of the city now part of planning of the of the community day. I and, I, and I'm, that I'm just, was not my intent. Okay, I'm just I'm just want clarification on how the subcommittee will be working with city staff and with the community. Okay. So it, it really, um, uh, to be direct about that, I, the intent was to formulate a more um, substantive, comprehensive response to the foundation on the four projects for presentation and action by the city council. That's number one. And number two, um, I would envision that subcommittee to be um, having a, a um, the, the primary function would be representing the city council as outlined in the foundation's um, materials 
should we go forward with the comprehensive community vision planning process? Um, if, 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 if you remember the letter that uh, the foundation provided envisioned a process that would have uh, members of the foundation board, uh, members of the city council, um, staff in a, in a robust uh, planning process that engaged the public, et cetera. Um, that was really what I had in mind, um, and not much more than that. Right. Okay, so I think we have a consensus on the community day in the park, and we'll get on that right away. And then how about the pre-planning for the community facilities vision plan? All in agreement that that needs to be done? Yeah. Okay, you have direction. And how about the overall uh, direction regarding all of the projects? I think they're great and well-deserved, so. Uh, um, if, I, if I could also, go uh, ahead. for three, three and four, I mean, you've got public, uh, you, you have traffic safety. Uh, I would right. like to include uh, those volunteer commissions involved uh, yeah. with, with that project and, uh, yeah, and also and Parks and Rec, and Rec right. for, uh, for the uh, Florida Park. Right. Absolutely. Right. Okay. All right. Good job. Great. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Great, big step, big step, huge.